What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Jay and Keith Review. Today, we're looking at a CNZ audio flanger. Uh, the guys over at CNZ were nice enough to send us this pedal uh, free of charge. So we haven't we haven't even really turned this thing on. We turned it on to make sure it worked, and that was it. Other than that, we haven't really played around with the sounds of it. Uh, it just came out the box. This nice box that it came in. The but nice yeah, flashy it, logo. it's a uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like the I like the logo, I like the box. Uh, it looks cool. You'll get a you'll get a better picture here in just a minute of what it looks like. But let's kind of find out what it uh, sounds like. Do you know anything about C and Z before I go any further? Um, they're just kind of getting their feet. Yeah, I think they're kind of getting their feet started. I saw them on uh, actually Amazon when I was looking for some pedals and uh, came across them and decided to look at their YouTube videos and. And they, they they sell a lot more than just pedals. Uh, Cajons. Um, Cajons. Cajons, whatever. Uh, I'm they, from fucking Alabama, man. Uh, so am I. Actually, you're from Georgia. Whatever. Anyway, uh, but yet yeah, they sell uh, guitars on the website. Uh, yeah. They, I think they're going to start selling amps. And of course, effects. They sell uh, cables. Um, a lot of just yeah. little stuff. But uh, Really cool company. Inexpensive. Yeah, you know, I, I think these retail for about 50 bucks. Yeah. Something like that. So, well, let's get a look at it, and uh, we'll have Keith go through some of the sounds while I am uh, playing around on the guitar. All right, here we are taking a look at the CNZ audio, and we got the uh, SL drive running into it for when we want to hit a little bit of overdrive on some of these parts. Uh, our clean signal. <laughs> running through the PRS into the Marshall. So, Keith, go ahead and run through that thing. All right, well... I'm going to make a point of note here that uh, you're going to hear the uh, flanger after the drive, and then we're going to do uh, a demo of it before the drive, so you can kind of hear how it sounds before and after a drive. So yeah. uh, right now, everything's at 12 o'clock. It's on the filter mode. Uh, Kick it on. You want to go clean or dirty? Clean first. All right, we're going to do clean first. <laughs> You guys, you can hear you can hear the uh, that filter sound, almost like a jet flanger. Uh, you got three, well, four knobs, oh, three knobs and one switch. The switch is filter and normal. The uh, three knobs are color, range, and rate. Well, mess around with. All right, it. here we go. We're gonna mess with the rate first. that tone well yeah yeah that's a, that, that that typical jet plan sound i'm gonna switch it down here to the normal setting real fast all right i'm gonna bring everything back to 12 o'clock uh, and this is your oh that's what i'm more used yeah. to so that filter does a lot yeah i always run my flangers on a normal setting anyway Mm-hmm. 
spaceship there. Yep. <laughs> That's like that uh, Hoobastank sound. Yep. That uh, crawling in the dark. Exactly what that is, is a flanger. No kidding, I just figured that out. So, um, give it a little bit of drive. Alright. Let's see what we got there. Now you're going to hear the actual flanger sound be more pronounced with the drive in front of it. Switch over to the neck pick up here. that I mean that's cool but let's switch it and uh, put the distortion after the flanger and let's see what kind of sound we get there all right this time we got it flipped around with the flanger going into the overdrive so Keith's gonna kind of turn them both on and then mess around with it and see what kind of sound it makes now y'all heard it just a minute ago so let's see what it sounds like now I like that better than the other way, yeah. personally. Which tells me to put it in the loop. That's what that tells me right there. Run that in the loop and it'll sound much better. Now put it back on that filter setting. All right, we're gonna go to the filter now. And then let's see. difference there um, yeah I like you can hear that it regenerating way. that way is much better to me yeah and so that's how I run my uh, my flanger is before so the uh, that is the CNZ flanger um, I mean overall you kind of got you, you got a multitude of sounds here with it um, I like it better on normal than on filter for sure and I like it better going into the drive than the drive going into it. I think it sounds better that way. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's, so that's how I run mine is going into the, the drive uh, and I run mine on the normal setting. Uh, it's, it's a well-built pe pedal, no doubt. It, um, it looks cool. Um, it's part of the, I just read on the side of here, the Sketch series. Oh, cool, uh, cool, cool. Yeah, it does have a good look on there. I know you couldn't really see it with the camera. You know, we'll I'll take try a to get a of picture of it to put up there right around now, and um, so you guys can see it. And yeah, uh, there'll be a link down below in the description to go check out uh, CNZ Audio and look at all the products they make. They they have a bunch, uh, especially pedals. They have a lot of pedals. Uh, it is made in China. Okay, uh, CNZ is based in Ohio or yes, something like that. Ohio, time. Cincinnati, something like that. Uh, Cleveland, one of those one of those big towns. Anyway, it's in Ohio. Never yeah, been there. They're, they're in America. They're they're American. Go they, Buckeyes. They they do uh, they do email you back and forth. I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah. I haven't had any great issues. customer service. Haven't had any issues with uh, with customer uh, service. I think so. it was Mark who we talked to. Mark or Nathan. Uh, I could look it up on my yeah. email, but either way, not important right now. Anyways, folks, uh, thank you for checking us out. Be sure to go check out CNZ Audio. Link down in the description, and we will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.